shuttle. Uh, let me just check the video volume here. Okay, we got to turn it up. All right, here we go. Shalom. My name is Yeshua Yaakov from Jerusalem. I'm the author of the New Economic Paradigm. Uh, this is a, uh, to comment upon uh, Barak's uh, speech in Terre Haute, Indiana. And in general terms, uh, he says that there is frustration and anger. Indeed, there is. And there's going to be one heck of a lot more uh, frustration uh, and anger. Um, if certain long wave phenomena converge on the already structural recession in progress, uh, because there's, there's going to be a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. Um, this is the boom bust cycle uh, that seems to, by some strange uh, coincidence, uh, parallel the political cycle. Uh, and uh, I don't want to cast any aspersions, but it's highly uh, suspicious uh, and, uh, and, uh, and specious in appearance. We said that. Um, I'm the author of the New Economic Paradigm. This is the winner-take-all, win-win sweepstakes in the presidential election. Uh, so therefore, I've uh, nominated myself as the author of the New Economic Paradigm. I've uh, uh, taken it upon myself to volunteer my services to be Barack Obama's macroeconomic advisor, Austin Goolsby, notwithstanding. We have great respect for him. He's a wonderful guy. Uh, but when it comes to the fiscal and monetary and eclectic uh, perturbations and uh, movements and statistics and, uh, and the, the academic profiles and the explanations and meanings, he can run circles around them. But I'm the paradigms nonetheless. I am a didactic scientist, the author of Humanomics in General, which is the post-collapse of the local reality around the globe, uh, which has brought about... Uh, the solution of humanomics, which is the convergence model of both East and West systems. And what is the local uh, local reality that has collapsed? It is man's, man and mankind's exile. And that model was given to receive. And what replaces it, uh, in general terms, humanomics, which is the East-West convergence model, and in particular its two paradigms, the new uh, central organizing principle being uh, the receiving to give, which is the cognitive behavioral science uh, first principle and the new economic paradigm, the integration of labor. I'm going to focus on the latter. The, um, the rest of 2008 and the uh, not to be too presumptuous in any way, but uh, I think we're only uh, going ahead with uh, a lot of uh, exercises in the, in the various uh, you know, caucuses and primary campaigns. Uh, including Pennsylvania, um, that uh, we're just looking at a coronation of the, uh, of, uh, the Obama candidacy. The key is the platform committee of the DNC um, really robing him with a content, an international content in general, which is the new economic paradigm, and that's the integration of labor that he will run on that because this is the winner-take-all, this is the prize. He, he will make, as President of the United States, his campaign will articulate, he will make the new economic paradigm his priority, which will fundamentally and structurally transform the American economy and lead it into a tripling of its gross domestic product. Based upon what? Based upon the model of the new economic paradigm. As what? as policy first, obviously, as a mandate in law to develop and implement uh, a world-class global technologic infrastructure, not physical infrastructure, global technologic infrastructure, that will retrain, it will retool, retrain, and re-educate the entire uh, domestic uh, U.S. workforce. Uh, at the end of year one, it will be creating tens of thousands of month sustainable jobs that will in the wage index be running by year three and four double the present uh, level of wages uh, on average. It will um, require a four to five trillion dollar investment on the supply side which will be amortized over 20 years and uh, years 11 and 12. Uh, we will be reaching the top of the diffusion curve which will bring about full employment uh, that will require a redefinition
definition of the structure of full employment because most economists view the 4% range as full employment but I'm talking about uh, a sum a sum zero game of full employment beyond 4% where we're going to define what the components of 4% are that are structurally uh, un, uh, unchangeable meaning they're just not people who are ever on the in the uh, uh, they're they're not employable and they never will be so uh, re redefining this there will be full employment there will be an elimination entirely of the national debt uh, there will be uh, national insurance uh, fully paid there will be no trade deficit and there will be no social security deficit and we will be running in years, the out years from 15 to 20, having uh, amortized the full uh, repayment. Uh, the national debt will, will peak out in years, uh, uh, let's say around, uh, as I recall, 12, 13, 14, uh, at around uh, 15 at the latest, uh, about 14 to 15 trillion, including debt service, and will be fully paid down uh, from the surpluses by year 20. Uh, and uh, in given uh, 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 normative slippage years 21 and 22 are the out years. Having said that this is a win-win situation, this is the major, major, major vision in international content. This is not Bob the Builder. This is not pipe dreams. This is not rosy scenarios. This is world-class science and technology. This is the new economic paradigm that identifies information as the new agent of transformation. Its specific model involves redefining network services system integration, network services, and human development as sub-technology macro models that redefine those categories. For example, systems integration, the way IBM defines it in the new technologic infrastructure, it is light years beyond that definition, and its content, I might add. And the same applies for network services, the model, the sub-model of network services and the technologi technologic infrastructure is light years beyond what the telephone companies define as network services, as is the case with human development. So without going into all of the details, which is beyond the scope of this video, the Obama response to McCain uh, is completely justified. There is absolutely and in fact a wide uh, spread uh, disappointment and anger and in Pennsylvania in particular bitterness and uh, I know lots of people. I'm from uh, 22 years ago when I made Aliyah. I came to Jerusalem to live. I'm an American citizen. I lived in New Jersey. I have my family, uh, my older uh, seven boys, I'm the youngest of seven boys, of uh, five surviving, uh, five of all which were all born in eastern Pennsylvania. I know lots of people in Pennsylvania, and Barack Obama's telling the truth, and uh, there's lots of bitterness, and there's going to be one heck of a lot more anger and bitterness if what we're doing, we're driving the car in the rearview mirror, and uh, we're playing games, and we're talking uh, nominalisms, and and we're at the periphery, we're not at the center. Uh, okay, so come on folks, let's get to the to, to talk uh, In Terre Haute, we love you. For American Americans, it's humanomics in general, the new economic paradigm in particular. You vote in support totally. Uh, Barack Obama, he is authorized. I approve this message. I endorse him with the new economic paradigm and his administration will have every support in developing and implementing it to produce for American Americans a world-class global technologic infrastructure that will make Amer the mo America the most competitive economy in the world and uh, it will lead the G9 and the, uh, the free world. I thank you for listening. I'm Yoshua Yaakov from Jerusalem and don't forget, vote for Barack Obama. <laughs> Uh, and remember, I would remind you, his father was an economist, and I'll bet he was a very good one, just like his son. Thank you for listening.